Hey everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to set uh, audio track language on a video file if that um, audio track is missing a language code. Uh, so you know you could have a video file that has three audio tracks and none of them have an audio track language code and you just want to set them to a specific code for whatever reason you want. Uh, so you come to flows, click add. Uh, since it's a video um, process, we're just going to select blank video template and it's going to call it set language. Add. Uh, so we start with a video file because that's what we're starting with. Um, so you come down to um, audio set language, so we just drag that in. Uh, let's say today we're going to do French. Um, it's based on uh, the ISO 639-2 language code, so if you just click this link it will open it up and tell you all the codes available and just pick whichever one you want. Um, so you just go French for some reason and click save. Then we have to connect the nodes up. Um, so this is saying when this video file is detected, go to this flow. Uh, this output means it did change. This output means it didn't change, which is shown here. Um, so if uh, if there's no audio tracks needing to be set, so they've all got um, language code set on them, um, this output will be called, otherwise this one will be called. So if they have been changed, at this point it's a temporary file, and we want to replace the original. So we come up to replace original, drag that in, and connect that up. And now, yeah, this file, when the file's detected, um, set a language code if any are missing, we set it to French in this case, then we replace the original file and we hit save and that's it. Uh, that node's now done and we can use that in the library. Uh, if we want to do something more advanced we can uh, take one of these existing ones, um, say convert video and copy. Say we want to use H.265, we want to use AC3, this is fine. Uh, we come into it now. Um, so we want to add a language code here in case it's not done. So we pull in the audio set language code. Uh, let's do Maori this time. Uh, add it. Uh, so at this point, uh, we're going to connect it up to this video encode node. So this video encode node means this out, uh, output means it was encoded into that format. This output means it was already in that format and didn't need to be encoded. So we have to basically do this twice. So if this output comes here, we say, okay, it wasn't encoded, but now we want to check languages. And this one's saying, well, the languages needed to be set. So we do want to copy the file. Um, all right, uh, we can't connect this one up to here in case um, the video was encoded. It's now a temporary file. But if the languages are all set, uh, we won't be copying the file. So we need this twice. So we just drag the um, audio set language again. Uh, we do marry again. Connect it up. But in this case, we always want to copy the file because it was re-encoded. So we connect both to this output, uh, input rather. Now, so this, what this flow says is the video file is detected. Um, do we want to check black bars or not? It's based on the template setting you chose earlier. Uh, Either or, it comes down to set video codec, so that's setting it to H.265, um, AC3, I mean it's um, encoding a video. This says it was re-encoded to that format, it says it wasn't. So if it was, it comes down and sets the language code for any missing language uh, audio tracks to marry. Either or, it copies a file to a new location. Um, this says, okay, it was already in that format, it didn't need to be re-encoded. So coming down to here, um, set language code. If it did change your um, language code, we copy the file. If it didn't, we didn't need to do anything. So it, we just exit the flow without having to do anything because everything's how we wanted it. And you just hit save, and then you can just use it in the library as you please. Um, yeah, so that's it, nice and simple. Um, it's not much to it. Like I said, it's the only real option is which language you want to use. and this will tell you where it is and just go as two outputs. So yeah, um take care. That was it. Bye.